Hey guys, in this video, we're going to make a game using objects and classes. So basically, we're going to create a car class and we can be able to navigate. We can control the car using member functions and a repeating menu. So basically, you can move the car, but only if it's on. And if you want to exit the game, you still, you have to, and if you want to exit the game, you have to turn off the car. So let's create a Boolean value to check if the car is on. Let's set it to false initially. Then we need a bunch of member functions to operate the car. Now, in the turn on member function, we're just turning on the car. Basically, turning on the car is setting the is on boolean value to true. To true. But we have to also check if it's already on. We can't turn it on twice. else we turn it on now we need to turn left right accelerate or reverse so four functions here also we have to check if the car is on or off so if it's off we have to tell them to turn it on else we can turn right. Let's include a message here also telling that it has been turned on. Now turn left is exactly the same as turn right. The last one is turning off the car. So if is on is equal to false, we say car is already turned off. Else we make is on is equal to false. Now we get to the main function. To create a repeating menu we have to use a loop. First we just create an object which is car1 then We make a user input, which is an integer input. Let's just set it to zero for now. Now while eat here, let's create our visible menu. So.
so this while root condition should be not equal to 7. Now after okay mm. ENDO. after this we have to take the user input from the user so we'll just use a bunch of if conditions or actually case will be much more useful so let's switch user input and then case one car one dot turn on Seven. Let's make it so they can only exit the program if a car is turned off. So if car one dot is dot is on is equal to, equal to false. Break else see out the car is still on ENDL break. default default see out invalid input and And we have our menu. Let's try to navigate the car without turning it on. So two, car is not turned on. Three, car is not turned on. Now turn on the car, car turned on. Two, turning right, turning left. Seven, we can't see the output. The car is still on, so we left. And that's how you make the game, a car game using classes objects, data members, member functions, and a repeating menu. I hope you understood the video. Thanks for watching.